there are very, very few academic jobs in mathematics currently, and the situation will only get worse. Well, this has not been a secret, given how many PhD graduates we have each year, just talking about USA, and then how many job openings are available. I was at UC, and being one of the top universities and a rank one university, apparently they have hired only six to seven people, tenure track people, in the past 10 or so years. And just apply it to more general picture in the USA, and you can see that, probabilistically speaking, everyone who gets a PhD in mathematics ends up outside academia. And that is why, as a PhD student or someone who is even thinking about beginning a PhD in mathematics, you should always have a backup plan. Easy to say, everyone was telling me them, but of course, I never meant to be doing anything else. And as I joked about this, I had burned all the bridges behind me already. Um, so I, I don't call it advice. I'm just saying that it will be nice and um, more reassuring to know that in case you don't find a job in academia, there will be something to uh, fall back on or even uh, do voluntarily and passionately, be it coding, be it um, having um, a second major, something, okay? So uh, let me tell you about my, a bit about my personal journey after my PhD. So once I got my PhD in 2021 in uh, Pittsburgh, I applied for many jobs like everyone else. It was COVID year also. And uh, I got maybe two or three interviews. And finally I got two offers, one from a place in USA and the other from Finland and uh, I chose to go to Finland. And that wrapped up that year's applications. I had only basically one or two papers on my resume that were published. It was all um, coming up, preprint and things like that. Uh, I had some teaching. I had been instructor, not just the TA over summers, which was common in Pittsburgh. So I had an okay teaching resume for a PhD student and uh, let's say below average um, research. And um, after Finland, at, at the end of second year there, I had a two-year postdoc there, I applied again, mostly to U.S. Um, universities, but also many European places. And uh, I didn't get even interviews uh, until I was offered the postdoc in UC and I came here. And uh, every time it felt like it was a last minute lucky thing that I would get these positions. And, but I was under the assumption that the more I um, get better, I improve my resume, more publications, more teaching, the easier it should get. And this uh, should be, uh, I should get a job rather than being lucky and just ending up somewhere. And I was personally blind to the patterns until this year when I applied and again um, very very few places um, almost no on-campus interview for me and um, and this time around I didn't even get lucky in fact I got even unlucky uh, which obviously I don't want to get into details of but finally I started to see the pattern and that pattern makes a lot of sense in retrospect because well, many people should not get academic offers and jobs. And um, you always blame it on yourself. What if I did that? What if I paid more attention in my applications? Uh, what if I emphasized my teaching more? Did I emphasize my research too less? And so on and so forth. But the reality is, the truth is, sometimes it's not just you. If there are no jobs in a place or on average in many places, it doesn't matter how good your resume is, how hard you try, how nice you write your cover letter and so on and so forth. So it's, uh, it's just the reality that there aren't jobs, that many jobs out there. Some places uh, simply don't care about your research. They want a very good, passionate person for teaching uh, and they want them to just go beyond 
being a good teacher and showing some evidence of, you know, um, educational background or having studied on something, taken workshops or whatever. And um, other places that want research, then the competition is extremely high. There are people who are already assistant professors um, who are applying for certain jobs or um, people from Europe also compete. It's just a very, very tough market. And every year, again, the problem was every year there was some excuse. So 2021, it was a COVID year. So maybe hiring was less. This year, as you may know, there were other excuses. Oh, this year the jobs are being fro uh, frozen, the fundings are frozen, so on and so forth. Next year will be better, next year will be better. And what if it doesn't? And the more likely scenario is it won't. So that's why by sharing some of these personal experiences, I just want to give you yet another warning. I uh, and many people that end up doing math do it because they love it. They have full passion for it. And uh, that's the case with me. And that is why I felt a bit of responsibility to do this here because all you see is me doing mathematics um, with love, with passion, sharing you the beauty of it and uh, how things work out in calculation and so on and so forth. It's a beautiful world, but also it's uh, becoming a rarity. And uh, what I compare it is like it's a, it's a dream job. Once you land the job, a, a tenure track academic job in mathematics, it's, uh, it's perfect. Um, with all the benefits and stuff. It's also a tough job, uh, but generally we love doing this job. But you should treat that it is only a dream job and uh, dreams <laughs> come true once in a while. Not It's not the pattern, it's the exceptions. Um, I hope you make your choices more wisely than I did. I I probably would have made the same choices anyway, but just sharing some some insight from uh, from an insider, let's say someone who has gone through this application process already three times, and uh, probably more in future. But uh, okay, so I'm not leaving academia. I'm not leaving you uh, without mathematics. I will come back and talk more about um, Poincaré inequalities and analysis of metric spaces and other stuff, for sure. And uh, I got once more lucky and I will end up in a nice place that I will um, update you about soon. But uh, again, I don't know how, how long I am supposed to get lucky. Thank you so much and see you soon.